everyone just a few things I wanted to share um, first I wanted to share with you this butterfly photo stand that I created um, this is using my butterfly AccuCut die uh, basically um, it comes with two different sizes um, there's the larger butterfly and then there's a smaller one um, I adhered both sides of the butterfly with the Bow Binding Gabrielle collection using some lightweight chipboard and the smaller one I scored in the center so I can fold it um, because it becomes the easel part of my frame and then it just sits up like that and then all I did was I added some of the coordinating chipboard adhesive pieces so I added the large butterfly in the center and it had this really pretty ornate frame so I adhered that one on top and then I added this photo that was taken at the crop that Arlene and I attend at Brandy Host um, so that's me, Arlene, Tamitha, and Brandy. And then I edged the photo with the Tim Holtz distressing tool. And then I distressed it with the vintage photo. I added some lace right here. These little antennas that I added um, actually came from this flower pack that I got from Iron Roses. As you can see right here, I just cut those off and then I use it as my antennas for my butterfly. These are some Recollections Pearls. A Recollections Flower. These are my new Iron Roses flowers. Love these, you guys. Um, it's the R6-827 pack. Look how pretty these are. Oh, I love these colors. So I added two of those right here. Added some of the brown um, skeleton leaves from Iron Roses. And then I added another chipboard piece. I'm going to write something down there. And then this is the Butterfly Brad from the Bow Bunny Collection as well. And I'm thinking of putting some kits on this um, so you can create this butterfly stand. It was really super fun to make. So check out my blog. I'll do a really quick video um, on the kit. So um, look out for that on my channel. And then also, as you all know, I fell in love with Miss Anya. And I had to collect all the Miss Anya stamps. But I wanted to create something where I could just store just my Miss Anya stamps. Typically I store my clean mount stamps on those easy mount storage panels and then I would place it in a binder and then store it on my shelf. But I wanted something that I could get quick access to. So I placed those stamps on a 7 Gypsies carousel and I'm really loving how it came out. So all I have to do is just twirl my carousel and get to my stamp. So it's separated by these tabs by collection. Um, these tabs are from Seven Gypsies also. All I did was I took the packaging, I cut out the photo, adhered it to the tab, and then also the collection on the top right here as well. And I used those easy um, mount storage panels and I just cut it basically. And I just cut a regular square shape and then I used my uh, mini ornamental die from Tim Holtz also and I used the punch um, from Seven Gypsies. Now I had mentioned in one of my videos I typically don't recommend you guys punching anything thicker than cardstock because there is that possibility you might break it but I wanted to use the same punch that the tabs and that go with the carousel so I used it. I mean it still works but just keep that in mind and so it's all separated. So this is my Miss Anya Dressy, uh, the Miss Anya Love. I have the Rain sn Snow Shine. The, um, I have a s one that's uh, for the skater Anya. I'm waiting for that in the mail. So I have one already to go right here. The Miss Anya Hats Off. The Miss Anya Collection. And the Miss Anya Lounge. And then the Special Autumn. And then, you know, I just twirl it, and, I, and it sits right here on my desk, so I can get to my stamps quickly. And I'm not too worried about dust getting on it, because it's no different than us storing our stamps on our shelves. It's pretty much the same thing. And then also, my husband always stocks me up on these dust can spray things, so I just, you know, I just twirl it, and I clean it like that. And then also, before I use the stamps, I use this, too, to take all the dust off. Um, so I just wanted to share that with you. I'm going to do another one of this um, with the um, Cheeky collection because I'm really liking that collection too. And I got my Cheeky Chat one today. So super excited because my girls and I love talking on the phone. So I had to get that one. And so I'm going to make 
a carousel just for the Cheeky Collection. So I'm super excited. This one isn't the Cheeky Collection, but I also got the Cafe Ian. Because my hubby loves coffee. And so I wanted to share that with you guys. And then also, Jade and Arlene are such the enabler. Um, Jade had given Arlene this awesome border punch by Fiskars. And Arlene had did an awesome video on how to use it. So I had to check out my local Joann's. Unfortunately, they didn't have the one that she had. So I had to order that one online. But I did find um, two. I found the Quilted Corners one. And I'll put the link to the additional 20% off um, in the description box because right now these are 40% off. So with additional 20, this is about nine something. So it's a pretty good deal. And then I got my favorite, the Lace and Lattice. I love my lacy nestabilities, and when I saw this one, I had to get this. So thanks, R and Jade, for sharing that. And then also at GT, I saw this, and I had seen a couple of videos on YouTube. It's called the So Easy Stitch Piercer, and I love it. I um, had to get it, and it has this really neat handle right here. And then these are interchangeable because I also got the blanket stitch one where you can do these different blanket stitches on here. And basically, they sell a mat to go with this, but a lady had purchased the last one. But it's okay because I use my score pal because the score pal has these grooves in it. And when I place my paper on top, I will always get a straight line. And so check it out. This is really cool because I had done... Um, I had posted this on my Facebook, this layout of um, a field trip that I had gone to with Natalie at an Exploratorium in San Francisco. And as you can see here, I used the embroidery floss right here. And this is what I used. I used this tool right here. And, you know, it was super fun. So try that. And then also, um, I got the Tim Holtz Texture Trades because Heavy loves poker. So I had to get this. I got this at GT. And then, um, really quickly, some collections um, that I wanted to share you, some paper. Um, this is the Webster's um, Triple Pack. It's the Spring Yacht, Sp Spring um, Market Yacht Club and Country Estate collection. Really super pretty papers. Love Webster's pages. How pretty that is. And they came out with another pretty collection. Um, it's called, oh, I can't remember off the top of my head, but I'll put it on the screen. I can't wait um, till that collection comes out. Because I had um, called Green Tangerine, and I think they're going to have, they said they might collect, I mean, um, offer that at their store. Look how pretty that one is. Isn't that pretty? And I love it because their paper too is also double sided, like crate paper. Their 6x6 paper. Really nice papers. Super cute. Love this one. Could cut those ones up. That one's really pretty. Look at that one. It's a really pretty one. I like the bird in the nest. How cute is that? That one's pretty too. They always have the nicest papers. cute is that whale. Oh, that's cute. Really nice collections. Ooh, I like that. That's really pretty. Look 
cut those ones up too. Oh, that's pretty. So that's by Webster's Pages. And then I also got the um, Cosmo Cricket Social Club. Lots of greens in this collection. So if you're into green, this is a really cute collection. It's simple, but cute. Ooh. Oh, that one's double sided. Very really nice. So that one's the Social Club. This one is um, Jelly Bean Soup, the Blossom Soup. Lots of pinks. Love pink. Cute bicycles. I had seen this the last time I went, and I didn't pick it up, and just decided to go ahead and get it. I didn't really look at all the papers, um, so when I had seen it again and I saw those bicycles, I just had to get it. They have another cute one that has owls in it. Probably go back and get that one. Cute little stars. This one's Bo Bunny, the ad lib collection. Lots to do with celebrating life, which is really nice. Love this. You can cut those out and add it to their photo. That would be really cute. So lots of bright colors. Bo Bunny's coming out with some really cute collections this year. A lot of the collections this year are really pretty. I'm really liking all of them. And I'm really getting into the 6x6 paper pads. I never really got into the 6x6 paper pads. I was more into the 12x12, but I think I'm starting to like the 6x6 and the 8x8s better. I mean, if I need the 12 by 12, I'll get the 12 by 12, but I've been collecting a lot of 6 by 6. So this is the Melissa Francis Kitch Kitchy Kitchen. I think that's how you pronounce it. Look how cute the little rooster is. So lots of cherries, cupcakes, my favorite. Super cute. So you can make a really cute recipe book with this collection. That one. It's pretty. Oh, okay, look at that pie. That would be perfect for the cheeky cherry pie on your stamp. Cute. Really nice papers. I like that. A little vintage lady, the apron. Cute. Really nice collection. So again, that's the Melissa Francis Kitchy Kitchen. So that's my video today, guys. Thanks everyone for watching. Bye.